friends. Today I'd like to read a special book about a friendly little bunny and a boy who had a garden. Are you ready? Here we go. Once there was a little boy named Tam who lived with his mother and father in a nice house that had roses climbing up the porch. Tam had a little garden of his own. He grew lettuce and carrots and sweet sugar peas. Every day Tam weeded his garden. Every other day he hoed it. One day when Tam came into his garden, he saw a great big bunny eating a leaf of lettuce. Oh, do you see that? And the next day, the bunny was there again. He had been having a feast. Oh, how he loved lettuce and carrots and peas. Do you like lettuce and carrots and peas, friends? The bunny even came in the rain. Tam thought, that bad bunny won't be here today, I know. But there he was, wiggling his pink nose and chewing fast. Can't you see it's raining? You'll get your fur all wet, said Tam. Go away, you're eating up my whole garden. The bunny hopped away. Tam asked his mother, Do you have some clothes of mine that are too old and got torn by mistake? Yes, said mother. I have some old trousers and a shirt with quite a lot of holes. In your big straw hat that came unbraided. Good, said Tam. I need a scare bunny. Tam asked his father to build a scare bunny out of two pieces of wood. If that bunny sees a scare bunny, he will think it is me and he will hop away, Tam said. See, there they are building it. Oh, see, his dad has a saw. Tam and his mother dressed the wooden pieces in Tam's old holy clothes. On top of the make-believe head, they put the hat with the straw sticking out. This scare bunny will frighten him, won't it? asked Tam. That's certain, said Father. The next day, when Tam went out to look at the garden, there was the bunny in the corner eating sweet sugar peas. There he is, see? And the next day, he was much nearer the scare bunny, eating carrots. Do you see the orange carrots, my friends? And the next day, he was close beside the scare bunny, eating lettuce. Oh, no. Tam chased the bunny, but the bunny hopped away very slowly. He looked at Tam as if he thought Tam was a friend. That bad bunny isn't scared by the scare bunny, and he doesn't think it's me, and he isn't even afraid of real me anymore, said Tam. Oh, no. What is he going to do? Then Tam had an idea. He divided his garden into two gardens. He drew a line down the middle with his hoe. Here are two nice gardens, said Tam. I didn't need such a big garden. See, there he is. He's using that hoe that's a special kind of shovel to make a line between two gardens. Tam's father built a little picket fence around one of the half gardens. See, there's that fence. He left the other half garden without a fence. Oh, and Tam is taking down the scare bunny. The next day, when the bunny saw that Tam had done for him, he hopped quickly to the garden without a fence and began to eat. One garden for you and one for me, said Tam. The bunny wiggled his pink nose and chewed fast to show that he was pleased. Now every day Tam weeds and every other day he hoes and the bunny eats in his own garden and they watch each other. They like to be together. Now they really are friends. The end. Wasn't that a nice story? Tam learned to be friends with the bunny instead of trying to scare him away. I hope you enjoyed this story. Have a good day, friends. Bye-bye. See you later.